Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Orange juice? Certainly. Don't tell me you've forsaken your beloved whiskey and whiskies. No, 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 no. I just changed their color, that's all. I'm going for the pale pastel shades now. They're more becoming to me. How about you, Mr. Connor? You drink, don't you? Alcohol, I mean. Oh, a little. A, li a little? And you a writer? I thought all writers drank to excess and beat their wives. You know, at one time I think I secretly wanted to be a writer. Dexter, would you mind doing something for me? Anything, what? Get the heck out of here. Oh, my dear Red, I couldn't do that. That wouldn't be fair to you. You need me too much. Would you mind telling me just what it is you're hanging around for? Oh, no, no, no. Please don't go, Mr. Connor. Oh, no, no. Please don't go, Mr. Connor. As a writer, this ought to be right up your street. Don't miss a word. I never saw you looking better, Red. You're getting that fine, tawny look. Oh, we're going to talk about me, are we? Goody. It's astonishing what money can do for people. Don't you agree, Mr. Connor? Not too much, you know, just more than enough. Now, take Tracy, for example. There's never a blow that hasn't been softened for her. Never a blow that won't be softened. As a matter of fact, it even changed her shape. She was a dumpy little thing at one time. Only as it happens, I'm not interested in myself for the moment. Not interested in yourself? You're fascinated, Red. You're far and away your favorite person in the world. Dexter, in case you don't of know... Of course, I... Mr. Connor. She's a girl who's generous to a fault. To a fault, Mr. Connor? Uh, except to other people's faults. For instance, she never had any understanding of my deep and gorgeous thirst. That was your problem. Granted. But you took on that problem with me when you took me, Red. You were no helpmate there. You were a scold. It was disgusting. It made you so unattractive. Mm, a weakness, sure. And strength is her religion, Mr. Connor. She finds human imperfection unforgivable. When I gradually discovered that my relationship to her was supposed to be not that of a loving husband and a good companion, but... Oh, never mind. Say it. But that of a kind of high priest to a virgin goddess. Then my drinks grew deeper and more frequent, that's all. I never considered you as that, nor myself. You did, without knowing it. Mm -hmm. 